Hello! I just decided to make a short video on how to make a passive radiator for subwoofers. Okay, things you will need. You will need, of course, some kind of speaker. You can, I recommend you take at least a 10 inch or 12 inch woofer. An old woofer will do. The only thing it needs to have is the ability to make large excursions. Okay, on nearly every woofer you will find there you can find some lines. A magnet of course and here we see several lines. And I'm talking about this first edge right here and that is where you will cut because for a passive radiator we don't need the the magnet and the voice coil in there okay so you will want to take a saw or a cutting disc or something similar and cut it all the way at this line once you've done this you will get a result There we are. This is a smaller one, but it's just to show you the principle. So, it's been cut along the line I showed you, and all it's all what's left is just the membrane, the basket, and the voice coil. Next, you will want to just rip out the voice coil. Once you've done this, it will look like this. At this edge you may want to take sandpaper or just to smooth it so you don't cut your fingers here. Okay, all what's left is a big hole and the membrane. Okay, um, for a passive radiator for a passive radiator to function, you will need to add weight to tune it to the desired frequency. So you will need to fill this. And therefore you can um, uh, cut a disc of uh, plywood. I, re I recommend at least five millimeters thick so it can be sturdy. Okay. That's the next step disc of plywood and a bolt where you can screw a nut on and here's enough space to add weights. You can use uh, big washers or, or lead or anything you can find that's heavy enough to tune your membrane to the desired frequencies. Okay, um, that's it so far. Next time we will take a look at the recommended enclosure for something like this.